Hello, my friends. Welcome to Bodacious Build number two. This is the last build before we set off to the 100 brick quarantine challenge when it becomes the official challenge, right? So this is the last build. We did a build yesterday, Bodacious Build number one, and you can check the website. I will have it linked somewhere. I don't know, wherever I figure it out for you to check out. It'll also be down in the show notes to the website. You can take a look at that. You guys did phenomenal. The idea of being able to take some random word that's aligned to your name with a a random adjective, I should say. There's your little quarantine lesson there, right? Your adjective combined with a noun based on the day you were born to create some crazy object was great. So how'd that feel? I mean, the design of that challenge in particular was just to get you comfortable with your 100 pieces and be able to see how you could take an idea, something random as a narrow house, rainbow cat, uh, you know, broken llama, whatever it might be, and, and take this idea, look at just our handful of Lego pieces, and, you know, kind of be able to mix it all up and, and, and create some, some wonderful genius. And so make sure you check the website. I tried to go through, I received tons of emails, I received tons of Facebook Messenger posts, I had people posting in the Facebook group, I had people on Twitter, I had people on Instagram. We got people sharing all over, so I tried to do my best to pull from all those places. Um, so if I missed it, just I apologize. Just let me know. We'll definitely get it on there. But on the website, you can see all the ideas. And the reason that we're sharing is just so that you can be inspired by others. One, it always feels good when you see your own project, right? But number two, to look around and be like, oh, I really liked how they did this kind of build idea. Or I didn't even think about that for a dog or a cat or a llama or whatever it might be. So the idea is that our own ideas could be the spark. It could be new learning for someone else. And so as we're doing this, one, it's just to keep your brain going, right? Keep those gears turning. But more importantly, for us to realize how important it is that we share our genius. So often we're so quick. We're so quick to tell ourselves, ah, I'm not very good. My idea is not great. I don't know. No one's going to like it. We're so quick to downplay ourselves. We do it as kids and we do it even more so as adults. And so this is designed for people to go, wow. I have something that I can contribute. And so I hope that you start to feel empowered as we continue to share those. And then I also know that many of you are not allowed to share. You can't share um, school restrictions, logistics. The coronavirus really has people shutting things down more than ever before, and that's okay. Even if you can't share the idea that you're participating, you're still gaining so much. And so while we're sharing videos or pictures, I know that there are hundreds more of you building. There are classrooms building, and that is what makes me feel so happy to know that there's so many of you um, doing some incredible work. So here we are, Bodacious Build number two. I just wanted to talk about it a little bit because we're setting the stage because after this build, your 100 pieces are going to be in the lock. You can't change them. But as of today, if you need to make any tweaks to your 100 pieces, it's still allowed. These two build designs are practice rounds, right? Just to get the creative juices flowing, but to sit there and go, man, I don't, I'm not quite sure about this piece. I thought it was really good, you know? And we're not gonna be able to gauge all that necessarily in two builds, but you can have a good idea about how your work play works, your build ideas come together, and maybe you had something that was really good, and now you're like, ah, eh, I don't know. The downside is, right, later in the, in the in the challenge, if you're like, oh, I could have loved to use that piece. It's kind of like the game Skip Bow, right, when you put a card on top of your discard pile and you wish you could pull that card out from underneath. But this is designed for you to figure that out. So here's the challenge. You're going to see it on the website. We'll link it in there so you can check it all out. It is for you to build an object. And we're going to go two ways here. Okay, two options again today because I know we're still getting used to this. Option number one is an indoor build. And what I mean by that is I want you to go around your house and I want you to find an object. Maybe if you have a brother or sister or a mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or someone that is in the house with you, have them pick out an object for you to make it a little more fun and build that. You're going to build a Lego model of something in your house. 
could be a spoon, um, could be a light, it could be a lamp, it could be a bed, uh, it could be a bowl. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's in your house, right? So pick an object and try to recreate it with the pieces you have in Lego. And it could be uh, a set. It, could, it doesn't have to be just a object. So maybe if you want to do a plate and a fork and a spoon type thing, go for it. So option one, indoor household object. Option number two, which is what I really like, but I want to make sure we had two options because I can't predict the weather for everybody. Option number two is I want you to get outside today and I want you to build an outdoor model, something that can be outdoors. And I want you to take a picture of your Lego build outside. So for example, um, normally in springtime, it's warmer, the sun's out a little bit more, uh, my wife maybe has planted flowers, at least started the process. I could build like a caterpillar like in our, in our garden. Uh, I could make a ladybug house. I could um, make a scene of, I don't know, a bicycle on the sidewalk. You know, obviously a little bicycle. Um, so picking something outdoors and then taking a picture of it with nature around you. It's, it's good while we're doing Lego. It's also good to get outside. You know, so maybe could you do something with your grass if you happen to have grass, right? And you could build a scene where maybe there, the grass is like the forest and there's the big trees and you're building something small or or there's a, a big scene, you know, of a, a battle between creatures. I don't I don't know because I don't know what you have and I don't know how brilliant your ideas are. Hopefully it's, it's stirring some thoughts here as you get rocking and rolling. So your two options, indoor, build an object, all right, and you can challenge one another in your house. Option number two, if you can, let's get outside and build something outside. Take a picture of your Lego build outside in nature, in your backyard, in the street, on the sidewalk, playground. I don't know. You know, we can't really say out in public, right? We're not supposed to be out there. So obviously practice uh, safe social distancing as we do this. All right, my friends, I'm so excited about this. Make sure you check out the website. Look at all the builds. Uh, there's so many incredible ones in there. Um, there are more coming in. It's, it's, it's just, it's so good. Every time I wake up, every time I go to check my, my inbox my, and my social media, I've got so many notifications and it's enough that gets me excited. It's getting me through these times, right? Where we're all starting to feel a little restless. All right, my friends, the last thing I have for you is I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I have something really, really special for you that's going to go live on Monday. Let me just say, I may have had a chance to talk to two incredible Lego Master participants last night for my podcast. And I may have that ready for you on Monday to listen. And they may be aware that you're building in this 100 brick quarantine challenge. So, you have to stay tuned. But for now, Bodacious build number two. We're getting ready to lock and load our pieces because tomorrow is the official week one build with the theme of quarantine. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome.